And now let's go to Chip Reed at the White House. Chip, as we mentioned, the White House seems to be downplaying these documents. Why is that the case in your view? Well, Katie, they are trying to make it sound like uh, this is really nothing new. They want the American people to understand that the White House was already aware of all of these problems, including the Pakistani intelligence service and civilian casualties. The president does not need to read a leaked document on the Internet today to be shocked and horrified by uh, unnecessary uh, and every civilian casualty is unnecessary casualty of innocent life. But I'll tell you, they may be underestimating the problems here uh, because, yes, people were aware and certainly the president was aware of the problem with civilian casualties. But if we're now going to be bombarded for days on end with a long series of specific examples, that's going to make it more difficult for both the Afghan people and the American people to support this war. And Chip, did the administration try to stop the publication of these documents? They did not, and they say they would have if it had only been the New York Times with the information, but the fact that it was all over the web with the, the WikiLeaks, WikiLeaks website and also two European papers had it all, there was just nothing they could do to stop it. And, and what about the timing of all this, Chip? It really comes at a critical juncture, Katie. You know, there's a bill on Capitol Hill now to fund the Afghan war. It was already a heavy lift. They want to get it passed before they go home for August recess in two weeks. This is going to make it even more difficult, Katie. All right. Chip Reed at the White House. Chip, thanks very much.